Okay, we're, for this tutorial, we're going to show you how to mask out the background or something. So, uh, I'm in Photoshop. If you don't see this right here, make and I'm in Photoshop 2022, make sure you X out right there and then quit on Photoshop and open it back up and make sure you have a good internet connection so you can see this. So, I'm going to go into Browse Tutorials and then I'm going to go in here to photo editing and change it to all categories and select a mask and the tutorial we're going to be doing is cut out a person with the magic wand so i'm going to select that going to select start tutorial and this is what we have now i am going to make this just a little bit smaller so we can see this on the screen here and it doesn't affect us with this uh, let's see what we've got. So we're going to select the magic wand tool. Now I already have this selected because I was working on this. So I'm going to go into something else and then I'm going to go back into this. And if you don't see it, you can make sure it's uh, the one down here at the bottom for me. Magic wand tool is what you want. And make sure that this is checked. Make sure that the checkbox for contiguous is checked uh, in this mode. The magic wand will only select pixels that are adjacent to one another. Click next to continue. So make sure that box is checked. And now since it's checked, I'm going to click on tolerance. In the tolerance, you need to set this to 50. And so I already have it set to 50, but make sure the tolerance is set to 50 and click next. Now it says, click the blue sky between the knee and the hand. The magic wand will sample the pixel you clicked on and select all the contiguous pixels that fall within the tolerance range you specify. So we're saying, check this color. This is what I want you to select, this color. So right in here, and then you can see it made a selection now based on that. It started clicking on those colors. So now, once you do that, right there you clicked on it, click Next. And now we're going to go to select and go to grow, select grow. This will expand the selection to include most of the areas of the sky that were not selected by the magic wand. So this is just gonna select more, grow. Now it's selected all of this. However, we need to add this area and this area right there. So we're gonna go, it says click on the the second one, this is add to selection. Make sure that one, you click on that one. And that's going to add the existing selection. Click next to continue. So now we're going to go to next. So make sure that second one, add to selection, is picked. And now we're going to click on each of the two unselected areas of the sky between the snowboarder's legs and the arm holding the snowboard to add them to the selection. So right here, I'm going to click in this area, and then I'm going to click in this area right there. That's very important. And now it says click next to continue. At this point, we're going to inverse it. So we selected all this of the snow border, but now we're actually going to select uh, the opposite. So this will change the selection from the sky to the opposite, the snow border. We want to select just the snow border rather and we selected all the sky areas. So if we go in here to inverse, it will just swap it around. So sele select inverse right there. Now it changed it. These selecting techniques work well in photos where the main subject is against a simple and uncluttered background, such as the sky in this scene. Click next to continue. It wouldn't work if there's a lot of other things going on, but since this one color of blue, it's pretty easy to do this. Click Next. Now we're going to add a layer mask, and that's going to basically hide this background right here. And it should only be the snow border. So right here, that little rectangle with the circle in it, that's mask. And that hides everything there, so only the snow border is there. So then you could use another layer to put the snow border somewhere else. So click Next. You can see the new layer mask to the right of the snow border. That's the layer mask. Thumbnail. 
white shows the areas that were selected, black shows the parts that were not selected and are now hidden by the mask. Click next to continue. So using a layer mask to cut out a subject from the background offers more flexibility than erasing the pixel because it is non-destructive and allows you the ability to edit and improve the layer mask. Click next to continue. So uh, you could actually go with a paintbrush and hide and show different parts if you didn't do a good enough job selecting the snowboarder. So there you go. That's how you can remove a background using the magic wand if it's the same color.